Hey everyone, Hassan here. Welcome to the world of Ha. So, what's up everyone? I am actually live streaming on Periscope right now too. So, do a live stream going on right now. Um, but, today I got a lot to do. I have a lot of organizing to do in the basement. I'm going to be going through all my stuff and basically cleaning things up and getting it together. And I figured, you know what, what's going to help the time go by faster? Bringing you all with me. So I'll kind of talk to you while I clean things up. And I know many of you have asked me before, where do I store my stuff? Well, you'll be able to see it. And you'll be able to see how I put it all together and everything. So um, you can definitely check this out. Um, also, uh, thanks for the reminder, Pink Shih Tzu Puppy. But today is actually exactly one year since I got 30,000 subscribers on YouTube. And exactly one year since I met Pentatonix. Um, which was pretty amazing. So we can talk about that and everything. Um, anyways, let me kind of set everything up here. Hold on. Hold on one sec here. It's going to be a bit of a mess. But uh, just to give you guys an idea of what I got to organize, there's boxes of stuff. A lot of it's trash and things. I'm going to have to go through and clean things up. So I'll set it up here. Um, I'll keep you guys with me. Let, me. let me see if I can pull up the comments. Hold on, Periscope. I'll be with you in a second. This is hard trying to multi-stream everything. Um, let me uh, load up the page and just make sure everybody can see. Um, oh, yep, there's everyone. Okay, sweet. So I'll get the chat there. All right, I'll be right back. Let me grab my phone. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Didn't mean to ditch you all on Periscope. And there you are, everyone. So I'm going to put you guys side by side. Uh, right here. There we go. Okay. This is kind of trippy. I have like Periscope, YouTube, and then the, the YouTube chat and everything right there. Um, <laughs> Cameron Green is on both Periscope and YouTube right now. Awesome. <laughs> um, sweet. Okay. So first thing is I need to clean up all that trash over there because I got... Basically what I end up doing, and I get lazy with it, is whenever I do like an Amiibo unboxing video or certain Power Rangers uh, videos, like I'll open up the stuff and just dump it to the side. But I need to clean it up now. It's getting to be a lot. I want to make this, you know, look much nicer so that when I come to make videos, it doesn't stress me out. It's just easy for me to just hop in and make a video, you know? All these boxes of Amiibo stuff and everything. <laughs> All this trash. How was the, um... How was the Power Rangers episode today? I missed it. I'll watch it later. I have it recorded on my DVR. I just didn't get the chance to uh, to watch it yet. Is anyone talking in the, the YouTube chat? I saw some people. Let me try and reload it. Um, oh, you saw the rap thing. I can't believe Kevin watched the Pentacon Anthem. If you guys haven't seen the Pentacon Anthem, um, go check it out. Um, it's pretty, pretty sweet. Um, oh, you know what? Let me tweet out the link to this, actually. I don't think I tweeted the link. Hold on. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to post it here. Hold on, I'm just typing real quick. I just want to post it. Um, does anything you guys want me to talk about while I'm doing this too? Let me know. Um, da, da, da. Oh yeah, PTX shirt. Bam, there it is. Oh, and PTX, of course. I, I always wear this hoodie. Um,
Oh, I just gotta check one thing. Check here. And we're good. Okay. What's up, everyone? I'm back. <laughs> Do I listen to other bands other than PTX? Oh, yeah, all the time. Um, I, I mean, PTX is the one that I'm like, they're my favorites. But I listen to um, anything that's on the radio, pretty much. So, um... Yeah, I mean, I listen to a whole variety of things. And I'm big on, uh, like, movie scores and everything. Uh, I was a band geek in school, so I love all that stuff. I saw that um, Pentatonix and Jason Derulo uh, are filming their video. I figured they had to be filming it soon, right? I mean, it only made sense because... Uh, I mean, it was their new single, so I just had I just thought they would film it a little bit later, uh, but it actually is better that they're filming it now because that gives them more time to promo it, especially when they perform with Jason Derulo in Japan in April. That's the perfect time for them to perform their new single and all that, you know? Um, Coda's going to be on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? I saw that. Uh, he actually already was uh, on the last episode that just aired. I saw him. It was a super brief thing, but it was still pretty cool. I don't think he had any words or anything. He just got, like, beat up or something. <laughs> I'm already filling up this trash bag with all this stuff. Probably going to have to get another bag. Do I have Pokken Tournament? Um, no, but I'm thinking about it, maybe. Um, it's, I don't know, I have mixed feelings about it. Like, it's an interesting concept, but I'm like, how much am I really going to play it? I don't know, you know? I already have so many other games that I still need to play. So, I don't know. I have been getting back into the Pokemon cards recently, though. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> so that I'll put over here for now. Okay, let's see what else I can organize around here. Um, do I have Bakugan? Uh, no. no, 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 never mind. I don't have Bakugan. I was thinking for a second of the, uh, do you guys remember Battle beat em on with the marbles or whatever that you shoot? I have those. Um, oh yeah, I never did um, uh, an unboxing of these uh, Wii remotes, the Toad and Bowser Wii remotes. Um, I think they released a Yoshi one too, so I still need to get that, and then I'll probably do an unboxing of all these. Alright, trying to clean all this out. Do I watch Daredevil? Uh, yes, I've only seen the first episode of season two right now, but I'm excited about it. I'll definitely watch more tonight. Season one was great. I really liked it. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some room, and then I'm going to start taking stuff out of my storage space, which is like all my older toys and everything. Um, and that... That'll be more interesting to see, and then I'll kind of start cleaning some of that. So, um, let's try that. Um, let me kind of shift the camera a little bit over here, so you can kind of see. For those uh, on the Pentacon Twitter, if you guys saw the Pentacon Anthem video that I made, that's where I filmed it right there. That's why the camera and the lights and everything are set up there. See the ghetto like tripod I had with the stacks of boxes on there? and everything so yeah periscope's live like truly live youtube has a delay so if you're on both periscope's gonna be ahead of everything 
Um, okay, so I'm going to clean this up. Just going to get some stuff out of the way here so I can bring in like the older equipment. See, it's, it's kind of a, a mess out here because we've been taking stuff out of the, the storage room to build some shelves. So, um, <laughs> yeah, you like that, Amaria? <laughs> I don't know. That thing, like, we've had probably for, gosh, that's probably really, really old. Like, let's see if it says anything. Oh, there's no year on it. I was, like, hoping it would have a year on this thing. Like, how old is this thing? Does it say? No, it doesn't say. Oh man, that would have been. This thing is probably like as old as like one of my sisters or something, probably. Or probably a little less than that, but. What's up with that TV? It's a super, super old TV that nobody uses, so we stuck it in the basement but we'll probably be getting rid of it soon. What's up, Rohan? All right, so let me go grab um, some boxes. Actually, I'm gonna take this down too because I need to organize this. So I'm gonna move this over here. Guitar Hero Live, fun stuff, fun game. I need to play more of that too. Legacy Thunder Megazord box, you can check out my review of that. <laughs> Move that out the way. This is the basement down here, guys. <laughs> this is not my room or anything, this is the basement. Um, that's actually, it's, it's covered up. Like I said, we're taking stuff out of storage for right now and building shelves, so that's why a lot of stuff is out here. It's usually in the rooms. But that wall over there is where the projector shines. So my PlayStation 4 is like behind this TV, you can't see it, and the projector shines on the wall right over there. Um, so that's, it's kind of like a little uh, game room and everything that we have set up in a movie room, basically. Um, so yeah. And then I use these uh, ghetto lamps for my lighting for my videos. You see how like the lampshade is totally broken? So that's my, uh, that's my lamp that I use for lighting for my videos. I like place it over here and I film my videos right there. Uh, it's great, isn't it? You see, you gotta make do with what you have, you know? Otherwise, things just get so expensive. You gotta make do with what you have. It's important. Put that lamp back where it is. All right, I'm already like getting hot now. <laughs> exactly, you gotta make the most of what you got. Definitely, definitely. Oh yeah, yeah, YouTube is, is super delayed. That's the, the downside of live streams. Uh, YouTube is super, super delayed. Although I will be on YouTube much longer because I have the charger for my laptop and I don't have the charger for my phone unless I go and grab that. Um, so yeah. Do I play Metroid? I've played some of the Metroid games. I'm just gonna leave this here for now. Ooh, I have this thing. Hold on, I'll show you guys in a second. Here's my camera that I use for my videos with this massive tripod. Oh, by the way, this is totally random. Um, people have asked me, have I been uh, messing around with a GoPro? Um, the answer is yes, right now I'm messing around with a GoPro. Um, I have not recorded a time-lapse video with it yet, and I wanted to mess around with that, so I have it uh, mounted to my car right now, pointed at my house, recording a um, uh, recording a, uh, a time-lapse video. This is the camera that I use, by the way, for my videos, Canon EOS 70D, in case anybody is wondering. Um, so I have a time-lapse video recording right now. Um, but it's super cloudy and it's rainy, so I don't know how it's, uh, I don't know how it's going to turn out and I'm probably not going to post it anywhere, 
but it's just for the fun to like try it out. So it's like recording my house and like the sky above it and around the house so like I can kind of see the rain and stuff. So I don't know how it's going to turn out. We'll see. But I just, I wanted to test it. Like, I mean, you got to start somewhere. So I just mounted the camera and just started it and we'll see how it goes, you know? What phone do I have? iPhone 6 Plus. Um, also, hoverboard! <laughs> I can't even see your comments from over here, but I brought the hoverboard back. I, uh, for the first time in a while, the battery died out on this thing and I had to charge it. And I always usually only charge it when I'm downstairs because I'm afraid the thing's gonna blow up, like they always say. But one time I let it, I accidentally forgot and I let it charge overnight. My house is okay, as you can see, thankfully. Nothing blew up, nothing caught on fire. But I gotta be careful about that because I think they actually even banned them selling these from China and other stuff, like importing it from China and other countries. Like they actually banned that completely. Um, all right, what am I doing now? All right, move this out the way. See, this is much more efficient for cleaning. I can just pick stuff up, move it out the way. This is good. Uh, what else do I got? I think that's enough space. Let's see what you all are saying. Those are hard to ride. They're fun. Yeah, they just call it a hoverboard. Um, what's up, Nathan? All right, I will be right back. I'm going to go grab something real quick, and then, um, we'll check it out. Let's see. Or actually, how am I going to do this? I'm trying to think of the best way to do this right now. Um... You know what? Let me actually move everything. I'm going to move you guys for a second. So, let's see. I'll move that. I'll set up this light over here so you guys can see. And move the, the lamp. Hold on one second, guys. I'm going to move the camera closer so you can see what's going on. Okay. We just need some light here. We're good. All right. Bringing you guys with me. Okay. By the way, this is the uh, the infamous wall where I recorded my appearance in the Sing music video from Pentatonix. <laughs> Fun fact. Um, all right, and let me go grab the charger for my laptop. I'll be right back. Stare at the wall. I know it's a fantastic wall. I know it's great. It's so entertaining. Okay. And I'm back. <coughs> exhausting. Uh, I'm, I'm like exhausted right now too. Like moving around and talking. Like, oh man, oh, I'm just kidding. All right, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. And now we enter. In case you guys are wondering where the Muppet is, here's the Muppet. <laughs> So there. All right. We're going to have some fun with this. <laughs> um, so I need to go through and organize this stuff. All right, what is this? This is trash. OK, exactly. Trash. Dump over there. All right, next. This one up box is full of a bunch of random stuff. Um, all right, I'll have to go through this to see if I still, what I want with all this. So this, I'm gonna put, let me put it over here. OK. 
Okay. Is there anything in here? Uh, okay. More random stuff. Alright, so there's that. Uh, yeah, the YouTube stream is on too, so both Periscope and YouTube are live right now, so you guys can watch either way. You want to hear me beatbox? No. Okay. I've had this Power Ranger ever since I was a little kid. This thing used to be as big as me, so it's pretty crazy. This thing is, is uh, a cherished uh, childhood item. So that stays there. All right, what's in this box? Let's see. Um, okay. Oh, okay, so this is my uh, Nerf gun, the one Nerf gun that I've had my whole life, basically. Actually, not my whole life, I got it in college. <laughs> And that's it. I haven't had a Nerf gun before that, but, um, so all the pieces and stuff to it. So Nerf gun stuff right here. Got to keep the one Nerf gun, you know? Um, got a whole bunch of these, like, card, uh, packing stuff for, like, card games and everything. So I'm going to organize some of this. <laughs> Captain Thax, I'm not a, I'm not that good at beatboxing. All I can do is the boots and cats, as Kevin puts it. See, like that's it. So there's nothing to, nothing to hear. So how's everyone doing today? People are okay. <laughs> so, got a stack of those cards there. Let's see, box of the card protectors. Um, that's there. Oh, I found here's my um, I saw this box the other day. All my old Pokemon cards are in here. Like, see, some of my Pokemon cards, like all my old school Pokemon cards. Um, like literally from like the original series and everything. <laughs> so these are all my old Pokemon cards. Oh, what happened to Periscope? Sorry, I looked down and it turned black and now it's back. I think it's live still. Um, oh, all my old energy cards, everything. Back when they actually had beads for damage counters and not the little cheap stuff they have now. Okay, so I, I don't need to go through all that. I know I have um, connection. Okay, I think it's back. So, at least I know what's there. I got this Pokemon card, Darkrai. One of my favorite Pokemon right there. So there's that. Um... A whole bunch of old random CDs and stuff. Like, I have this. Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue Titanium Interactive Datazord CD. What is that? It's, an, it's a CD. It's not a movie or anything. It's like an app, like a game or something. I don't know. So that's interesting. Other random stuff. <laughs> A friend burned uh, the Phantom of the Opera, like, soundtrack on here. Yeah, like an application, Amar. Yeah. <laughs> Shannon, what's up? Uh, am I getting the Falcon Zord? Yeah, I just don't have it right now. Um... Oh, man, this brings me back. You guys remember Putt Putt and Freddy Fish? This is like. This is old school right here. Anybody? Oh, Periscope just cut out again. Man. 
Putt Putt and Freddie Fish. That's pretty crazy. Um, okay, what am I doing? I need to. I'm taking way too much time on this. I need to figure out what I'm getting rid of and what I'm keeping, because otherwise, if I go through every little thing, we're gonna be here forever. Um, okay. So I need to make some piles. Oh, it's Sadia. I haven't seen Sadia literally since we graduated high school. Oh no, my periscope keeps cutting in and out. Okay. Sorry guys, I think I think my phone is like overheating because it's sitting on my laptop that's getting kind of hot. So I'm sorry everyone. I'm going to have to hop on YouTube and just stay on YouTube. I'm turning off periscope, so I'm going to stay on YouTube. So if anybody's watching on periscope, hop on over to my YouTube channel. Yeah, it keeps flipping out right now. Sorry, guys. Hop on over to my YouTube channel, and I will be there. So I'll talk to you all there, okay? Um, bye, everyone. It's literally my Periscope's freaking out. Okay, anyways. All right, I need to come up with some piles of stuff. Like, how am I organizing this? And of course I put the table with the laptop right in the middle of where everything is. So it's like, I can't even walk right now. <sighs> Oops, okay, great. Um, perfect. Okay. Lego. This, I don't need, okay. So this is going to go over here. That's going over there. Okay. Then this stuff here, what do I have? Uh, how do I want to do this? Okay, so I'm going to keep it, it goes here, I'll put trash over here. Okay, moving on, let's continue, let's continue. Hmm, a floppy disk, haven't seen one of those in a while. Um, Beanie, Baby, oops, Beanie Baby Handbook. <laughs> wow. That brings me back. Look at look at all this stuff. Pokemon Pop Quiz. I got a Goosebumps book. Sammy Keys and the Hotel Thief. This is like bringing me back, man. I had to get this for school. Five hundred one Spanish verbs. So that's that's good right there. Um, oh my goodness! Here's a throwback right here. I found this photo inside of everything. Look. It's me dressed up as the Red Ranger. Like, that's a throwback right there. <laughs> oh, man. Perfect dark instruction booklet. Like, oh, this is, this is it's pretty crazy. All right. Sorry guys, I'm going to try and go through this in just a second, just trying to multitask here. Alright. Um, what is this? Oh, this is um from the Lego movie. Okay, I got like one thing from the Lego movie. Um, where's Emmett? I have him right here somewhere. There he is. <laughs> okay. There's that. What is this? Oh, this is the the Power Rangers one. Yeah, that photo was me when I was little. Um, I, there's little Ninja Storm like Mega Bloks figures and stuff. Um, Uh, 
Ah, when I went to PAX East, my media pass. That's cool. Oh my goodness. This magazine from 1999. All new Pokemon Yellow Strategy Guide. Wow. Look at this. Introducing Super Mario Unplugged. And it's showing the Game Boy Color. And it's like Super Mario Bros. now on Game Boy Color. That is, this is a throwback right here. This is, this is great. I think I got this because it was a strategy guide for Pokemon, kind of. But this is, this is like old school. Like, you can always go back and, and, um, oh man. I was just talking about this the other day. I was on Periscope and I mentioned that I, that for fun, I used to make my own Pokemon cards. And I have some right here, like pictures of them. Like I would print them out and cut them out. And like, it's like me with a Latio. So it's like my, my face right there. And I like made my own Pokemon card out of it. That is so funny. Wow. Uh, an Animorphs calendar. Animorphs, that's, I remember that stuff. I love those books, man. Let's see, what is this? Student? Do I need this? Well, actually, this could be kind of useful. Hmm. That's a maybe. I think I might keep that. Now I'm getting into my school stuff. This whole box is just random stuff, basically. That's what I'm figuring out. Just random, random stuff that I have. Um, huh, okay. How old am I? Yeah, I'm 26 now. I'm just finding like all sorts of... What is this? Huh. That is funny. They're the same age? Yeah, there's... It's so funny to go back and look at like the stuff that you have, right? And just to see like how things have changed and... Oh, it's crazy. It like makes me feel old, but it's it's so interesting. Oh my goodness. I'm finding like a CD of like a school project video that that I had to make with some some people in high school. Um Oh my goodness. <laughs> and what is this binder? Huh. This could actually be kind of useful because this is, um, so I was a part of the intercultural festival when I was at, uh, one of my universities and I helped to plan, um, a huge event and I was like the, uh, assistant director of it. So there's all these different, like all my notes and all that from here, which, you know, it's, it's like planning an event, event planning. And, um, that's kind of what we're doing for Pentacon really. So in a way this could be kind of useful. Um, Eric, yes, I'm going to Power Morphicon this year. Um, are you? Excuse me. Are you going to Power Morphicon? All right, that's it for this box. Um, so I feel like everything in this box I kind of am going to keep. Question is, do I just keep? Yeah, I guess I'll just keep it all together again. Um, okay. I think that's, I think it's fine. Okay. 
Yes, I'll see you there. Awesome, that's cool. I can't wait to meet everybody at, Pen at uh, Pentacon and Paramorphicon. It's going to be so much fun. Alright, so, yeah, I think everything here looks like I'm going to keep, so... But I may have space in here. Uh, now that I took out a couple things, I may have space for more stuff, maybe? Or maybe not. I don't know. Maybe it's looking like a tight fit, actually. So I might not have more space. Never mind. Or maybe a little bit of space. Okay, so I have a little bit of space left in here. So I'll save that space for something then. I don't want to put this back in the box. I feel like it's going to get messed up, so I'm going to save it. Um, okay. Do I play Mortal Kombat X? No, I do not. Um, the closest I play to that is Injustice, Gods Among Us. All right, next up, uh, this is from Marching Band in high school. They sold these bears as a fundraiser. So some of this stuff, I have like extras of certain things that I may like give away later, not right now, but um, so I need to come up with a space. So like another one of the special Dino Chargers and some of these le legacy toys, Dino Charger packs. I'm dropping them all over the place now. So later on, I'm gonna have to do this. Um, the Lightspeed Rescue CD came with the Titanium Toy Exclusive Zord. Ah, okay. It's been a while, I can't remember. Um, so, I'm going to put these to the side so I remember that I have these. Okay. Next. Um. Oh, this is falling apart. <laughs> so that fell apart. Ah, okay, this is my, like, Marvel stuff. So these are where I have all my Marvel Legends figures, like the Hulk and Nick Fury and Captain America and Iron Man, all the Marvel Legends figures. Um, so I should organize these in, in another, a separate place, like another box. Um, actually, if there's a box right there, that might be perfect. Let me go grab that. Let's see. I think this should be big enough, hopefully. Okay. Maybe. Uh, well, now that I'm looking at it, it might be a bit of a tight fit. Um, let me see. I'll try. I'll try. What do I think of Power Rangers and Doctor Who actors being in Marvel stuff? I think it's cool. Um, I think there's many of them that are super talented and they deserve to be in more things, so I'm happy that they are. Definitely. Um, oh, a little, little Groot. It's so adorable. So for anybody just joining, um, I have a lot to do today as far as organizing everything in my basement to kind of, uh, like it's just starting to clutter up and I want to get some, put everything in, in boxes neatly and organize it so it's easy to get to, get rid of stuff that's trash that's been gathering up. Like I save like some of these boxes for some of the action figures that I have. I don't need this Iron Man, but like what, what am I going to do with this box now? It just takes up space. So I'm kind of going through and cleaning everything up, um, but it's a boring thing to do so I figured I'd hop. On, uh, on YouTube Live and talk to you all while I do it and I can kind of show you some of the stuff I have because I get a lot of questions from people and comments on like where do you store all your stuff how you know how does all this work so that's what I'm showing you my stuff is kind of in chaos over there and I'm trying to organize it all now basically so you guys can kind of you know see how that goes So I'm trying to put all this stuff, I have these like bigger boxes that are like I can use for other things, so I'm trying to 
consolidate what I have. Spider-Man. The oldest Sentai toy that I have. Um, I think Gokaiger was the first Sentai that I ever got anything for. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think it was Gokaiger. Make PCX custom Pokemon cards. Yeah, I don't have the uh, the skills to uh, to do that. The one I, I used to make them as a kid, but you know, looking at them now, they look terrible. But as a kid, they were great. You know, so it's not quite the same. But it's a good idea. I just don't have the proper skills for that. My editing is with videos. And even then, I don't know too much about all that. I'm still always learning every day. Oh, look at the little, uh, look at the little Ant-Man right there. He's so adorable. <laughs> okay. So, perfect. Consolidated all those into smaller boxes. So that will help me save space. So now I have this box that is now empty that I can use for other things. So that's good. Okay. So I'm going to put this over to the side over there. Let me move these boxes out the way. Okay. Hold on one second, guys. I'll be there in just a second. Just throw these away. Okay, next box. Let's see. The box to the PlayStation Vita, which I don't think I'm ever going to need this box. Um, there are some serial numbers and things. Maybe I'll take a photo of it just to have. But otherwise, I don't need it. So. Okay, done. See, like, that's one photo. I don't need to save this box anymore, you know? I need to play the Vita more, too. I, I One of the big reasons I got it was for remote play. Uh, and so that's pretty cool, definitely. Um, but I also, I really love the aqua blue, blue color. I think it looks amazing, just the blue color. So good. <laughs> the games, eh, you know, but the system itself looks great. Um, also, I did a, um, a video of the uh, this Figma link. Um... I can take a picture of the back to save like all the different poses and everything. Oh, what happened to my phone? Why did it close? Okay. Just in case I wanted to replicate those poses and stuff again. I can always Google it too. So that's an empty box. I also never got around to opening this Figma Samus. So I'll probably do that. Give the box away? I can't give the box away, guys. Do you guys realize? I spent a lot of money on shipping for the giveaways that I did. So, <laughs> for me to ship boxes to people is not free. That would cost a lot of money to ship all these boxes that I have. So, you know, that's, there's, I can't, I just, I can't do it. There's no way I can afford to just sell, like, I'm basically like, you know, unless you want to buy the box from me, but I don't know why you'd want to buy an empty box. Um, all right, so there's that. Oh, okay, here's my uh, figure arts Mario um, and all that stuff. Uh, is the Luigi in here? Probably around here somewhere. I have the figure arts Yoshi. I also have not opened that one, so I probably will do that too. Um, what's in here? Okay, yeah, this is a mostly empty bag with just a little bit of stuff in here. Um... 
So I can probably consolidate it, but this is like all the little mini Mighty Morphin Mega Blocks, um, as well as the uh, the Hot Wheels cars, like from Mega Force. So just a lot of empty space that I can easily optimize. So I'm gonna try and do that. I'm gonna move this away. And what I want to do is I want to have all my Power Ranger stuff in, you know, certain boxes so I know where to find them all. Like, that's a random bag in this other little box that I have, so I would never know that I have it there. Um, I got a couple, like, Digimon Fusion things, but, eh, didn't really stick with me, so I stopped buying them. Um, but, you know, I have those. Um... Put these away. How do I like Power Rangers today? I didn't watch today's episode yet. Um, I will probably go watch it uh, tonight. Wait, this thing lights up? Did I know that? Did I know that this thing lights up? I put it in the bag and it lit up red. Huh, did you, did you know that lights up red? You can't even see it on camera, but... Huh, I don't think I even knew that it lit up. So that's interesting. Digimon Fusion just never caught my attention. I, I don't know, it just it wasn't, it wasn't the same. It, even Digimon Savers was kinda... Uh, um, or Digimon Data Squad or whatever the US one was. Um, it was okay. I, uh, Digimon Adventure Try has been good, though. I really do like it. Um, I am in Virginia. All right, empty box now, so I can move that to the side. It's great. Oh, actually, I can even take this stuff and put it in the other box that I had before. Ah, now we're talking. Now we are in business. All right, so good. Empty boxes. These are trash. Let's throw these away. <coughs> All right. Oh, the dust is going to start to get to me now. What else we got? Uh, I guess I'll go through these things. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I remember I had this Sony Ericsson phone. What do I even, I don't, why would I even need this anymore? There's no way I need this, so that's trash. Um, well, yeah, this is a lot of trash. Um, okay, so I see, I already see a lot of just random, like, Disney and Universal pamphlets and stuff. I don't even know why I still have these. So a lot of that's trash. Okay. Oh, I heard about that Cameron Green, the um the that big team up of all the different uh people from Digimon, but um, but yeah, I'll wait to see, you know, whenever it comes out in the U.S. Um, I'm not in any specific rush to watch it. All these random papers and stuff that I'm finding. What even in the world? I don't even know what half the stuff is. <laughs> this is all like trash mostly. Oh, Captain Thax, I'm with you. Like, this, like you can see the ra like Disney brochure is from probably like ten years ago. Why would anybody need this? How? Why do I have it? But you know, nobody threw it away. So now is the time to finally get, like, I'm, 
at this point, I'm like, I'm sick of it. I'm like, done, trash, <laughs> get rid of it, you know? Um, this is just like a lot of papers and stuff, so um, there's not really much interesting in here. I'm going to try and see if there's anything I really need to keep, otherwise I'll just trash this bag, basically. Um, oh, there's a whole bunch of just random like junk in here, so like this is, ah, uh, like little, little pieces of stuff. Like, what even is all this? Um... Gosh. Well, I guess I should double check and really go through all this and just make sure that there's nothing important. Because um, once I throw it away, it's all over. Um, hold on. I'm just kind of looking through this bag of junk and just I'll let you guys know if there's anything interesting in here. But so far, quite honestly, there is not. Uh, da, 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 anything? No. What is this? Is this anything? Mm. Nah. And looks like it's basically all trash. So. That makes it easy. Okay, so now I can dump back some of the stuff that I need to throw away. <laughs> um, did I get any of the Pokemon 20th anniversary stuff? Uh, no. Yes, kind of, um, the Pokemon Generations uh, packs. I guess those are for the 20th anniversary, right? Um, the Celebi and Mew card packs. So I will do an unboxing video of those. I haven't gotten around to it yet, but I did get those recently. But otherwise, uh, I've looked at some of the stuff in the store, but nothing kind of stuck out to me like I need to get it, you know? So, so far I haven't gotten anything. Is there anything like super interesting that came out for the 20th anniversary? Um, like if you guys think there is, let me know and then I'll go check it out. But otherwise I just, yeah. All right, so this is a bag of trash. So I'm gonna go take this over to the trash pile. All right, moving right along. What do we got here? All right, this is a lot of trash that I already see. There's this loot crate, and what's inside the loot crate? That's interesting. It's, uh, it's an unopened loot crate. How is that possible? I've opened every loot crate. I know that because I've done it month by month that I had them. So how do I have an unopened loot crate? That makes no sense. If you guys want me to unbox it, I'll do it. I'll probably, I don't know what's in it. I don't even know what month this is from. Oh, May? But may of like when? Like two years ago or something? I, I really, I don't know how this is even possible. But that's so weird. How, how do I, what? I've, I've opened the loot crates. <laughs> Alright, this box is a lot of trash. So nothing here. Oh, but there is something interesting inside. <laughs> Mystery crate. Yeah, I'm like, what? I'm like, what is it? Now I'm like wondering, like, how, huh? Open it, open it. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna have to I get my scissors. I'm just gonna rip this thing open. Ah. Uh, uh, there we go. And oh, I have to rip open the sides too. Ah. Uh, oh. Oh. Now I remember. Oh, it all makes sense. 
Um, this was sent to us by Saban Brands. That's what it was. Um, because I, I already subscribed to Loot Crate, so I already got it, and then Saban Brands sent us one to give away. And the reason is, this was the Loot Crate <laughs> where they had... The Power Rangers t-shirt. That's why. Now it all makes sense. So Saban Brand sent the Power Force that loot crate. Um, so I have that. I have um, like a puzzle. Um, Marvel shoelaces. Marvel ice cube tray. Um, stuff like that. So okay. That makes sense. So I have that shirt. So maybe later I'll do a giveaway of this. Not anytime soon. Like I said, it, it becomes expensive to do giveaways. Um, but I'll save it. Uh, I'm not making any promises yet. Uh, it just all depends. Because if I keep saving all this stuff, I'm never going to get rid of anything either. So, um, so we'll see. Um, so I'll save it for now. But that totally makes sense now. Okay. Um, so I'll put that to the side. Now, here's another thing that I know um, a lot of you were waiting for, and I never got around to reviewing it, so I'm sorry. But you remember the Ranger Keys? I know they released new Ranger Keys recently, but from last year, I never reviewed the last wave of Ranger Keys. I have them, and I always planned on doing it, and then the Dino Charge toys came out. And then I got busy with that, and the Dino Supercharge came out, and it's been like, what, a year and a half now? I've literally had these things sitting around for forever, and I've not done my review of it yet. And I never opened it because I was always like, I'm going to do a review, I'm going to do a review. And now that there's new Ranger Keys coming out, I will review these, and then review the new Ranger Keys. But these are the last pack of Ranger Keys from before, which is the In Space pack, Jungle Fury, Time Force. We got the Samurai Gold Ranger, Dino Thunder Black Ranger, Mercury Ranger, and we got that Wild Force pack. So I have all of these. There's not dirt on the camera, guys. That's just the, the glare of the light. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I am going to review these. Um, yeah, you're not going insane. I, 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 I promise, they were on my list, but my, I kept adding other things to my list that took priority because I wanted to review newer stuff. But now that they are releasing new Ranger Keys, this is the perfect chance for me to review these and then continue the next the new ones and stuff. Which, by the way, I went to Toys R Us on Thursday and they still don't have the new Ranger Keys where I am. Um, but, I promise, these reviews are coming. Just not yet. <laughs> so let me go save these Ranger Keys over here somewhere so I have them. So I did collect them. I did get them. I just, And I didn't want to open it because I knew once I opened it, I would never go back and do a review. So I just left them in the boxes, basically. Um... All right, now I got another empty box. There's that. My GoPro has been outside for an hour and a half. Um, I wonder if I should go try and get it. I probably should. Um, hold on, guys. I don't want to just... Oh, okay, how about this? How about this, guys? Here's what I'm going to do. My GoPro is outside recording, but I think it's been there long enough. Um, so I'm going to go grab it because I just wanted to have it out there for a little bit and test. But I don't want to just leave. So what I'm going to do is... You guys remember how I got Jewager stuff? And I said I'm going to be doing reviews, right? I am doing reviews, and I did record a review of the Jewel Changer. I just have not posted it yet. So you guys will get an early first look at that review, 
Okay, so I'm going to play some of that review until I get back. So you'll be able to stay here, you'll be able to watch it, and then I'll hop right back as soon as I'm back here and as soon as I got the GoPro. So you'll get a couple minutes of this Jewel Changer review. So um, check it out. Hope you guys enjoy this early sneak peek at that review. Um, and uh, it's recording a time-lapse video outside just of the rain and my house just for the heck of it. I'm probably not going to post it, but just I just want to try it. So I will be right back. So... Enjoy this early sneak peek at my Duo Changer review. I'll be right back. Ha! Ah. Hey everyone, Hassan here. Welcome to the world of Ha. Today I got a power. No, this is not Power Rangers. What? This is Super Sentai! Oh snap, Super Sentai reviews are back. This is Dobutsu Sentai Jewelger. So, this is the latest Super Sentai season. I know I did a bunch of reviews for Tokyuger, which I loved. It was great. Nin Ninja, I tried a little bit. Eh, I don't know. But Jewelger, so far, I'm kind of digging it. And I figured, you know what? I want to check this out. I want to do some reviews. So I did. I purchased this from Image Anime. I know, I know, there are cheaper places to get it, but Image Anime has been reliable for me. Quick shipping, get over it, sorry, done. Okay, moving on. So this is the Juo Changer. This is the Henshin device for this Sentai season. Um, and right off the bat, I am just digging this. Like this little shot right here, first of all, the packaging for Super Sentai products is off the chain, it is amazing. So much better than Power Rangers products. The Duo Changer itself looks pretty neat, and I love the little mini ranger figures. Like, that's that's so cool, I, I dig it. I think this is really cool. Um, so, real quick, I wanna show you guys the packaging because I just, I cannot emphasize enough how much I love this Super Sentai packaging. It's so bright and colorful and boom in your face, you know what I mean? So, uh, as you can see right here, you have the, the Red Ranger, uh, uh, whatever, um, I don't know the exact ranger name in the season, um, but you do have the mini little uh, rangers as well, which is cool, the Jewel Changer and the two modes. Um, at the top, it does say Jewel Changer right there, um, and there you have the rangers, Dobutso Sentai Jewelger. Um, I, I'm gonna say Jewelger. I don't know if I'm pronouncing the right. Zioger, Zioger, Juger, Jujujuju. I don't know. Jewelger. That's what I'm saying. So yeah, I really like this this season's designs. Like those helmets right there. That is sick. That is that is amazing. I really like the designs of the suits this season. Not gonna lie. Uh, the mecha and stuff. I'm kind of digging it as well. Like, I, I'm actually, um, so far, like, Ninja, I really wasn't feeling it, to be honest. I just, I was not feeling it. But Juoger, amazing. Uh, side of the box right here, again, Juo Changer. Um, on this side over here, it's pretty cool, actually, the way they have it. So they have all the different animals like that, but it looks really cool. Juo Eagle, Juo Shark, Juo Lion, Juo Elephant, and Juo Tiger. Uh, I just, I love the way this looks. That's just, that's really cool. The back of the box right here, kind of explains everything. Um, so again, how you can twist it, and I'll show you all that, um, and all the different um, things that you can do with it. So I'll show you all that uh, up close and everything, but I just, I love the, the packaging, the, the deluxe Duo Changer, awesome. So anyways, uh, so it does come with these little mini Ranger figures, so I wanna kinda take a look at these. And I'm back. <laughs> Sorry, I know if you guys really wanted to get into the little mini Rangers and stuff, Sorry, um, <laughs> um, the helmet is gorgeous. For, uh, I love the designs of the Jewelger um, team. It looks amazing. Um, so, I'm back. Yeah, that full review will be up soon. Don't worry, um, it is coming. Got my GoPro from outside. I just, it was just for the heck of it, I just wanted to try and record a time-lapse video because I've never done that before and just see how it turned out. Um, and the fact, it's raining outside too, and the fact that this is waterprace, or waterprace? Did I say waterprace? What does that even mean? Waterproof. Um, it's, uh, it was perfect for me to just try out and see how it turned out. So, yep, perfect. Waterproof case. GoPro is totally fine, which is awesome. Um... All right. I just want to I want to look at my little video
video here real quick and just see how it turned out. It's a tiny little screen, so it's not going to show much. Oh, of course, there was a raindrop right on the front of the screen as I started recording, so it's going to be there the whole time now. That's fantastic. Um, all right, I'm going to have to edit this really and like see. Like on the big screen how it's looked. I, I had a feeling this wouldn't turn out that good just because of the fact that it's super cloudy and everything. Maybe on the bigger screen you can kind of see it better. Yeah, it's really not. It was just a shot of like my house. I don't you can't even. Oh, what happened? Um, it was just. Uh, where'd it go? There it is. Um, it's just, this is just me setting up the, uh, the camera and stuff. You can't even see it on there. So, anyways. Battery's almost dead, though, so I guess I got it in time. Um, let's stop that. So, yeah, I'll try it out on another day. I just wanted to kind of see how that would work. Okay, turn that off. Perfect. Cool. Anyways. This is the um, the Hero 4 Silver. And this is the waterproof case that it came with and everything. Um, so yeah. Uh, I got... Did I get it on Amazon, I think? Or Best Buy? I think it was Amazon. Yeah, I got it on Amazon. Um, okay, what was I doing? I have this trash now. Okay, so let me put this in the trash pile. Shout out to Red Slime Gaming. Thank you for watching. Okay. Let's see what I got next. Um, hey, I know what this is. I just don't have space for it right now. I'm going to take it out here. This is my Tokyujer stuff, but it's a box that's falling apart, and I need a better box for it. So I'm going to move this to the side. So I fit all my Tokyujer stuff in the one box, but it's, it's too big of a box, and it just doesn't... And then on the other hand, I find this massive empty box right here. So that's interesting. Maybe I could use this for something, but this is huge and it's empty. So I don't know why that was just sitting there. Okay. Let's see what we got here. I think I know what this is. I think this is all my Nin Ninja stuff. Do you have a PSN account? Yes, it is a uh, Dark Wish zero seven. Nin Ninja, do I need the boxes? Do I really need the boxes? I guess not really. I'll take a picture just so I have for reference, like what some of this looks like. But I really don't need the box anymore. On the back. Because sometimes I can't remember how all this stuff transforms, you know? It just becomes too complicated. And look at how massive these boxes are, too. It takes up so much space, you know? So if I can get rid of all these boxes, honestly, that's half the space right there. But then the, the other challenge is... Sometimes when I need to like stack up the camera on something, I use a whole bunch of my empty boxes. So <laughs> I'm gonna be out of like my camera tripod almost. Uh, I'm in my basement right now. 
Okay, empty boxes, so that is in the trash pile over there. All right. More empty boxes. Now I have this box here, which I don't need all of this space for the Ninja stuff, I don't think. It really doesn't take up all that space. Um, but like you see here, I got all the, all the stuff. Um, and I stopped buying the Ninja stuff because I kind of, eh, you know, it was somewhat interesting and then I kind of gave up on it, to be honest. Um, so, I don't know. I guess I have certain things I can compare with Ninja Steel now, but I'm not going to buy any more Nin Ninja stuff. Um, so for a couple of reviews, we'll be able to see a comparison, I guess. I don't know. Let me move this box out the way then. Okay, let's see. What's in this box? Ah, okay. This is the uh, Power Rangers mix and match stuff, and then the um, Mighty Morphin 2010 four inch figure toy line. So, all my Power Rangers stuff I'm going to put to one side and then organize it all later. Got all these like loot crates and stuff that like I don't need to keep all these things now, you know? So let's see. I'm gonna consolidate all this. I need to. I need to consolidate things. So yeah. Let's see. Uh, trying to consolidate everything that I have. So what I can do is I can take one of these other boxes that I have and just stick all the stuff in there. That way it's just one box with all the, the random things that I have from loot crates and one-up boxes and all that. I think this will be a much better solution for all the space that I need to save. Lego Dimensions is interesting. Um, I just, I'm not going to get it. I just don't have time to be able to, and, or money or space to invest in all of it. Like, Disney Infinity... I, I don't know what to do with that anymore. Let me let me actually I'm gonna skip ahead. Let me grab another box and show you. This heavy suitcase right here, okay? This heavy suitcase. You wanna know what's inside of it? Look, Disney Infinity figures. This is all Disney Infinity. This entire suitcase, Disney Infinity. <laughs> I don't have space. I Disney Infinity 3.0 looks amazing. Marvel, Star Wars, like it looks fantastic. I don't have space. I can't buy it. I just I don't. And it it's too much. So that's my struggle with those types of games. Amiibo, even on Amiibo, after I finish the Smash Brothers line. You know, the Animal Crossing line, and aside from that, I'm not going to be buying all the Amiibo. It's only certain ones I'm going to get. Um, like, because this is, this is heavy, and it's a lot. You know? Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's so much to go through. That's the... The challenge with this stuff, man. It's crazy, you know?
they're, they're great games. Don't get me wrong. They're great games. I, just, I don't have time, and I don't have space, and I don't have money to keep buying all the figures and everything. Like, it's, it's a lot. Um, maybe after I clean things up down the road, we'll see how it goes. Um, I love, like, Amiibo, Smash Brothers is my favorite game ever. I mean, I'm, I'm getting all those Amiibo. Like, I love it. But, like, the Chibi Robo Amiibo, the Shovel Knight Amiibo, I, I'm never going to use those. You know? So why why get them then? If it just takes up space. Um, the Smash Brothers Amiibo, like the ones that I buy are ones that I'm going to use, basically. Otherwise, I'm not going to buy it. So I'm the type of person that I'm not... <sighs> really? Really? What? What are you saying shh for? My mom's standing right there watching me, and she's like laughing. Like, what? Is... She can go laugh, have fun. You want me to clean or not? Okay. My mom's so annoying. Like, why? Why are you just coming in here while I'm live on here? She knows I'm doing a live stream. Uh, anyways, next time she comes, I'll get her on camera, and then we'll see. Um. The, um, yeah, the ones that I get are ones that, like, I'm going to use, you know? Uh, Nick, she's in New York, so she's a few hours drive away, basically. All right, let me take all these boxes and move these out the way. Ah. I feel like I'm like Casey Neistat right now and like throwing the boxes and stuff that I he always throws the stuff around. Um, okay, now this box is where I'm going to put everything so that it's in one spot. I think that's a much better idea. Um... Do I have Instagram? My Instagram, I keep private. Um, so I don't, like, add people on Instagram. Um, it's, uh, it's meant for, like, my, my family and, and uh, like, coworkers, close friends, things like that. Uh, so what I do, same with my Facebook. Um, I keep that private. But I have a Facebook page, facebook.com slash the world of ha. I have my Twitter. I have YouTube. Um, I have those things that feel free to uh, contact me on. But otherwise... Uh, my personal Facebook page, uh, and then my Instagram, I, I'm not going to accept any uh, requests there. Thank you, Nick. Yeah, um, I, am, uh, I am blessed to have her as my, as my fiancé. She's awesome. All right, so I'm going to move this to the side. Okay, let's see. This is, oh, okay, this is all my, uh, some of my other Sentai stuff. Um, from Kyuryuger. So this is pretty cool. I was wondering where I had this, actually. Um, including this guy right here. Uh, like that, right? Yeah. The T-Rex Supercharged Morpher, as they call it now. So I got these things. Because I was wondering where I had this. Did I, I don't think I did a comparison in my, my review, because I couldn't find it. But now I know where it is. And I have all the, um, the Kyuryuger Dino Chargers right here. And a little lipstick uh, holder. Um, I got that idea from some people online, and I thought it's... Hey, it's pretty cool, pretty convenient. 
Uh, also, my bag of ranger keys. I don't have all the ranger keys, and I don't plan on getting all the ranger keys. It's way too much. Um, okay, so I'll go put this with my other Sentai stuff. I need to consolidate all this, too, in one area, because otherwise it's just too much. Like, there's a lot of empty space in this box here. Too big of a box, taking up too much space. That needs to be fixed. It, it's really important to be efficient with the space, you know? Guys, the uh, the trash pile is starting to mix with the I'm keeping and need to organize pile, and I don't want to mix it up. <laughs> yeah. What do I got here? Got my ranger keys right here, so I'm gonna put this ranger keys to the side. Got this loot crate that I need to consolidate. Where'd the other box go? Oh, I need to stop moving that stuff around. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna put this all in here. Okay. Hold on one second, guys. Just want to put all this stuff in one spot. And this is trash. Do I watch anime? No. Um, I mean, I used to. The, the latest thing that I've watched um, is Digimon Adventure Try, but I don't usually make a habit of watching anime. Okay. Let's see. Oh. So, as a little kid, I never really had any Star Wars stuff, but I had a friend that, I forgot why, like, he was moving, or he didn't need it anymore, or something. So, his, his family, like, his, everybody was like, hey, we're getting rid of these Star Wars toys, do you want them? So I said, yeah. So I got a whole bunch of Star Wars toys, like, literally all this stuff. <laughs> Now, granted, a lot of it is all chewed up and, like, bent and everything, so it's not in good condition. But, I mean, heck, I was as a kid, I was like, uh, this is amazing, you know? Um, so I have, like, you know, all the old classics, C-3PO, all that. Um, I have all these guys, but this box is too big. Um, all right, I'm going to have to figure out something else, because there's a lot of empty space here that can be utilized. So I'll need to organize that some more. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. And the reason is, I have two guitars for Guitar Hero Wii games, but they don't work properly. Like, you strum and it either doesn't strum or does twice, so they're really not usable um, that well. I mean, unless you play like something super basic or so I'm like a little hesitant to get rid of them because you can't really buy those ones anymore. Um, 
And I still have the drum set. I don't know if that works. I have the drums for Guitar Hero. So I'm hesitant to get rid of them. But that would be some space there. I also have three of the, you know, Donkey Konga? I have three of those things. Um, all right, hold on. Let's see what else I got. Okay, I have some figure arts. I have Luigi, I have Yoshi, and I have this other pack of stuff too. So I still have these to, to come. Um, so let me put all of these together with the Figma, Samus, and everything so that they're all in one spot. And now I can put these to the side. Then I have this, so I'll probably, I don't know if I'm going to do a review of this. I'll, I'll figure out what I'm going to do with it. It's a Target exclusive set from the recent Transformers movie, Silver Knight Optimus Prime and Grimlock. Um, yeah, let me save this and put it to the side. Uh, Cameron Green, I maybe, I don't know. I, um... Uh, it depends how I like the Luigi and Yoshi and stuff, uh, and the cost of it all, I guess. So I'll have to figure it out. Okay. Now these... I got these to display some Disney Infinity figures, especially because they were super cheap. Um, they were on sale when I got them. But then I realized that I have so many Disney Infinity figures from Disney Infinity 1 and 2 that if I were to get cases for all of them, it would be massive and take up way too much space, and I needed to consolidate space. So now I'm not using these, but... I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with some of this stuff. Um, and I can't, if I do a giveaway or something, it's going to cost so much money. I could sell it, but I don't know how much people will. It's just, it's such a hassle to sell stuff. You got to package things up and this and that. It's just, it's a hassle to be honest, because I work like nine to five. So just being able to go to the post office or being able to drop off packages and stuff, it just, it becomes a challenge. So I, I have to make some decisions on that, I guess, but I have these. Now, this is pretty interesting. So, anybody watch Agent Carter? <coughs> this is the official book for season one of Agent Carter. Right here. <coughs> you open it up, and you got, like, interviews and full, you know, lots of stuff on all of season one of Agent Carter. It's pretty amazing. It's it's a really cool. And for anybody that really liked the show, like, it's a really interesting book, right? Well, guess what? Um, the cool thing is, the, the, the main reason I got it, I mean, I'm a fan of Agent Carter, but I wasn't planning on getting the book. The main reason that I got it is if I open it up, right? Look at this, okay? Do you see where it says written by, what the author's name is? Written by Sarah Rodriguez, right? I went to college with her. We worked together on this intercultural festival thing. Um, 
and we were co-chairs in marketing and everything. Uh, she actually has um, a website, and she's done like gaming stuff too. I think she streamed on Twitch before. I think um, she's Sarah the Rebel on Twitter. Um, she, I think her website is called Nerdy But Flirty or something. Um, I think I want to say she works for Loot Crate now or something too. So like she's done a lot of really cool stuff. She wrote the book, the official book for Agent Carter. So she got to actually interview everybody from the show and everything. Like, that's so amazing. I I was blown away when I saw that. Like, I saw her Twitter page and I was like, wait a second. I was like, Sarah, what? And and so, yeah, that's super cool. I was like, I need her autograph now. So if I ever see Sarah again, she's in California now, I think. So um, she's not really in the area anymore. But, um, but that's so cool. Like that like uh, a friend of mine from from school wrote the official agent carter book so i was like i had to get it and support her so that was pretty amazing so i, I wanted to, to save that definitely this oh man now this i've saved because of how special it is this is the box to the nintendo 64 that i had since i was a kid like this is just a classic right here like, it's, I, I guess they got this from Caldor. I don't know if anybody even remembers the store, Caldor. I, this store, like, I used to go to all the time as a kid, and it's where my grandparents would go buy me Power Rangers toys. Like, we would call Caldor, and we'd be like, hey, do you have, you know, the, the Green Ranger toy, like Tommy the, from Mighty Morphin? And my grandfather, you know, would take me then. They'd be like, yeah, we have it. So he'd drive me there, we'd go to Caldor, we'd buy the toys and everything. Um... Excuse me. So this is a massive box, but I feel like this is one I don't want to throw away because it's it's like so sentimental, you know, like it's super special. So I think I'm going to have to save this box. Out of all the boxes, empty boxes that I throw away, I got to save the Nintendo 64 box. It's just, it's a classic to like go back and, and, uh, and see, you know, it's just, it's just a classic. Okay, so I have those. Um, all right, hold on. Yeah, that's the original box that I had. Um, it's the original box. And yes, Logan, I'm very excited about Civil War. Yeah, okay. Yes, I have the system, and it is right. I just saw it a second ago. Where did I put it? I put it somewhere. It was literally, oh, right here. Nintendo 64, right here, got it. So I have the system. Um, I have the Sphero BB-8 thing, which obviously I have the Sphero BB-8. I've done my review of it, but do I need the box? Let me open it and see if there's anything important inside. Um, it's a cool box, but it's just it's an empty box. Um, yeah, I don't think I need this. I'm going to throw this away then, so that way save some space here. Uh, Esther, yeah, I have tons of Power Rangers toys. I haven't touched those boxes over there. Uh, I'll start to get them, actually, in a second. But um, In fact, I have some of these. I put them in a Loot Crate box for some reason. So I have these here. So let me put these over here. Hold on one second, guys. I'm just trying to consolidate all this trash over here. Okay. Also, I had um, an elementary school teacher in fourth and fifth grade. Mr. Hollick was his name. And then he actually uh, went to the same middle school and taught when I was there, sixth grade as well. So for fourth, fifth, and sixth grade, uh, now in sixth grade it was like only science class and stuff he taught. Um, so, but I had him for three years in a row, and he was like the coolest 
teacher ever. Um, and he used to collect Star Wars stuff too. He was a big fan. Like he was just awesome. Uh, and I've actually met up with him a couple times since then in the last couple years. Um, we saw uh, I Iron Man three together. I think um, one of the recent Marvel movies. I think I, I can't remember which one. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, so he's he's super cool. Um, he found this Power Rangers toy that he had from a long time ago, and he just gave it to me. He's like, he's like, I know you collect the stuff, and um, here it is. And so he found this Power Rangers SPD toy, um, this Megamorphin toy, and I figured I'm just going to keep it in the box because it's kind of cool. So I have this Megamorphin SPD toy. Uh, thanks to him that I haven't opened. So, pretty neat. Okay. The big boxes are coming out now. How long have I been collecting Power Rangers toys? Since the beginning. Since 1993 when Power Rangers first started. So, that is, uh, what, 13 years, or no, not 13 years, 23 years now? What's in this box? Ooh, more random stuff. All right. <laughs> hmm. um, oh, this is kind of cool. This is another blast from the past right here. Actually, funny story, I'm talking about Mr. Holick and all that, right? So in, um, in elementary school, we built these like rockets and then we went outside and like blasted them off into the sky and everything and like it opened up and I don't know if you can see it, it's like a little dot, the parachute opened and you know, it was just a fun little project that we did. Uh, and I have these photos somehow of these, of this thing and we're just talking about it. And um, you can't really see him off to the side. But I think that's Mr. Hollick and that's our principal or something at the time. Or not the uh, assistant principal or something. Um, the, uh, but it, that's kind of funny. We were talking about him and I found all these little photos. I still have these somehow. And also with the photos is uh, me in this little... Um, like bubble thing. So it's like me standing inside of a bubble. It's from like elementary school. It's kind of neat. Yeah, Cameron Green. I'm definitely excited to meet everybody. Should be cool. Um, okay, like boxes for like Pokemon Soul Silver and everything. Like, do I really need this? Let me see. Oh, it has the replacement. Uh, piece for the Poke Walker. I guess I could keep that. Uh, Poke Walker operations manual. Well, hmm, maybe? I don't know. I guess I can keep that. I'll keep that, at least so I don't lose it. But I don't need this. This is trash. Hold on. Uh, Pokemon Leaf Green Box, that'll be trash. Um, Game Boy Color Instruction Booklet. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, oh, wow, so this is pretty neat. So, I don't know which I got first. I don't know if I got the Nintendo 64, if that was my first video game system, or the Game Boy Color. I don't know which one was first. But if it was the Nintendo 64, as you guys saw, I have the box to that right here. If it was the Game Boy Color, I know that my first two games were Frogger and Pokemon Blue version. So, I have these. 
So I don't know which one I got first. I don't remember. Um, but that's really cool. This is the original box for Pokemon Blue version. I still have the original box. So that's pretty awesome. Um, <clears throat> oh, this is kind of neat. Pokemon Ruby version. Um, I have the packaging for that. But then I have this Pokemon Battle e-card with it too. So I guess I'll save the e-card. I don't need the box or anything else really, so I'll trash that. I don't know, uh, Nazif, I don't know how long I'm going to do a live stream for. Um, probably not like too, too much longer. Because um, I'm probably going to go get something to eat as well. The Nintendo DSi. Huh, do I need this box? Suppose I don't need the box. So let me um, take a picture of it. The serial number on here just in case. Okay. Yeah, I guess I don't. I'm only going to save certain boxes if it's like special. Um, I mean, the blue version box is kind of ripped a little bit, but I mean, it's still, for the original, it's not bad. Like, the front of it looks fine, you know? Bye, Daniel. Thanks for stopping by. Um, okay, I got this random Yu-Gi-Oh thing here. So there's this Yu-Gi-Oh thing here with Yugi. Yeah. There's that. Hmm. Um, that's trash. What is this? That's trash. Oh, snap. Omnimon. Pretty cool. <laughs> oh, man. Crazy Bones. I don't know if you guys remember Crazy Bones. This was a big thing when I was little to start collecting. This is, this is crazy. Oh, okay. I know what's in this box here. You got some really cool stuff. Oh, I used to collect these so much. I love these things. Okay. For Digimon, they used to make these tiny little Digimon figures, which were amazing. Like, look, Gilmon. These were so cool to collect. You know, Saber Leomon. Like, oh, man. Anybody, like, these are so cool. I have a whole bunch of these. I have, like, Terrier Mon. Um, all these guys, man. Like, so many of them. I can't even show all of them to you, but I got, like, tons of these things. So these guys were so cool. I used to love these. Um, so I'm definitely saving these somewhere. I don't want to lose these. And then these little beans, I forgot what they're called. Mighty Beans, yeah, that's right, Mighty Beans. So I got those as well. Star Monsters by the same people who created Crazy Bones. Huh, cool. I didn't realize they were still making stuff like that, but that's cool. Oh, and then these were from, was it, a, I think, a Burger King Pokemon promotion? And you could collect these, like, gold things. So I got Togepi. I feel like I got all six, but I don't know where they all are. <laughs> Mewtwo. Charizard and Poliwhirl. And they're in the little casing and stuff, too. Uh, but this was so old that, like, where it talks about, you know, their length and weight and all that and evolution information, Togepi has question marks 
on it because at the time those games hadn't come out yet. So you have those along with a bunch of the Pokeballs and stuff too. Ooh, okay, even more Digimon stuff. The actual like action figures that would transform. Oh yeah, there we go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking right here. The, the sad part is I'm missing the parts for some of these. Um, because over time as a kid I didn't pay attention to it. Like I have War Greymon, but he's missing a foot. Um, and other ones too. So these were cool. Oh, I got Bop It. tried, but I didn't get to it enough. Oh well. Oh well. Anyway. <laughs> what else do I got here? Oh. Aladdin and Space Jam on VHS. Also, Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue on VHS. The Queen's Wrath. So there's oops, that right there. Okay. So I think I'm going to keep a lot of this stuff that I see in here. I'll just throw on some other things in here. Okay. Put all this back. I do have a little bit of empty space still. So I need to figure that out. Um, let's see. Do I have another small little bag anywhere? I don't think I do. Hmm. It's like these things that I need to put away. Hold on one second. Okay, and I have this trash. Okay. Okay. 
How long have I been collecting Super Sentai for? Not very long. Uh, my first Super Sentai stuff, I think, was uh, some Gokaiger stuff. All right, the next thing I have here is some of the Metabots uh, toys. Metabots. More power. More power. Okay. Let me just get all this stuff out of the box here. Then it'll be easier to take a look at what's even in it. This is a whole bunch of random stuff. Okay, let's see. <laughs> First of all, I got my bag of Metabots. So these toys were cool because you can mix and match them and stuff. Um, but like... Let me see if I can build a uh, Metabee. I think part of Meta B like broke off, but I still have most of it. Yeah, Meta B. These were fun to get because you could like mix and match them and stuff. But the uh, the two back pieces here broke off, but still from the front it looks pretty cool. I had like a whole bunch of them too, as you can see, a whole bag of different kinds. Okay, Metabots, I'll put in the same box with everything else, some Digimon stuff, okay. Uh, Metabots, this is all Metabots, all Metabots. All of it came with like these cards and stuff, so I have all these pieces here of the cards. Put all those there. Um, what else do I got? Um, oh, what is this? This is like um, a cake topper, but it's the Mighty Morphin Red Ranger. I feel like this is from when I was a little kid. I had a Power Rangers uh, birthday cake, and I think this is from that. Like, it's really old, probably. Does it say what year? 1994. Yeah. So that was when I was four years old. <laughs> Got a whole bunch of other random stuff in here, basically. So let's see. Let me see if I can just dump it out here and then go through it. Okay, what do I got? Uh, Metabots in there. Okay. Uh, Power Ranger stuff goes here. So I got this and this Pink Ranger and. Vita Bonder. More of the Power Rangers cake toppers. I guess the only one I'm missing is the Blue Ranger. Maybe it's in here too. Uh, I don't see it. Also have this for the White Ranger, like a pencil topper. Um, okay. Just trying to separate out all the Power Ranger stuff so I can really have it all in one spot, you know? Um, but that can be challenging, though, if there's a problem. Ooh, do you guys remember this guy? From Power Rangers in Space? Is that Dark Honda, right? Is that who it is? Not sure, but I have that little guy. Um, oh, this is neat. It's a little marble, and it says Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And on the other side, Dragon Zord. So that's pretty cool.
whole bunch of just random stuff here. That's him. Yeah. I figured it was Dark Knight. Yeah. sure I get all the Power Rangers pieces that I have. It's all these like little little pieces of stuff. I think that is most everything here. Okay. I'm gonna shove all this random stuff back in the bag here. Um, oh, the instructions for the Thundersaurus Megazord from Dino Thunder. It's random, but okay. Um, let's see what else. Anything else interesting here? Or can I just put this all back in the box? I think that is pretty much it. So I think I'm just going to put the rest back in the box there. Oh, a little badge for Power Rangers in Space. Do I like WWE? No, I'm not uh, I'm not into WWE. Apparently I have three Vita Bonders. Okay, so. Uh, make sure that I have this in the right spot here. Okay. Will this fit here? Maybe. Yeah, I think it might. Okay, I think this box is good. Close this one up. We're good. Okay. Oh, I also have this little mini um, Beyblade thing. Alright, so that's that. Alright guys, I think that's where I'm basically going to end this live stream. Um, but thank you all for for joining. Um, it's been a, it's like a two hour long live stream. Uh, I got a decent amount done. Um, what I need to do now is probably just reorganize the way the boxes go back in there and consolidate certain things, I think. I'm just going to start throwing away a lot of the trash, too, which will clear out a lot of the space that I have here. Um, that way, things will be a lot more organized right there, um, and it'll be much easier. My next review... Um, I My next review will be the Jewel Changer. I don't know when it's coming. In the next couple of days, I will say. Um, what I want to do is I want to record more reviews... So depending on how, if I get this done today, maybe tomorrow I can record more reviews. If I don't get this done today, I'm going to have to work on it tomorrow. Um, and then it might delay things a little bit more. But So I want to record more reviews and then get them out to you back to back to back, basically, um, so that you'll be able to enjoy all of that. So I have a lot to still review. Um, I'll kind of tell you briefly what's coming up. Let me show you. I'll take my laptop over there. And I'll show you to give you an idea of what's coming up on my channel to review, okay? Let's see. Yeah. So, uh, what I have to review is more 5-inch figures, like the Plessio Charge Megazord, okay? I have the uh, all the Dino Steel Rangers. Um, I have... Snide and the T-Rex Supercharged Red Ranger, as well as Purple and Aqua. I still don't have the Dino Drive Purple and Aqua, but I still, I'll get those soon. Um, the Zord Armor Ranger. Um, the, the recolored Zords. I'll probably do one video with all the recolored Zords, since there's nothing new, they're just different colors. Um... 
I have more Dino Charger packs. Lots more Dino Charger packs. Um, got those. I have the Black T Rex Zord. Um, the Spino Zord I have, but the box is too far away for me to go grab right now. Um, even more Dino Charger packs. Um, I have those Ranger keys that I showed you before. I still have the rest of the Jewelger stuff to review. Um, what's in here? Oh, I have this recolored uh, Dino Charge Megazord. So I have that. Um, and what else? What else? Uh, that's most. I have a new one up box that should be arriving maybe today or by Monday. So I'll have those. Um, yeah, I think, I mean, you know, a couple other things too, but that's mostly what's on the way. So I have a lot of that stuff coming up. Um, hopefully I'll be able to find the Falcons Word soon, so I'll do that. Um, I still have to get that though. Um, yeah, lots of stuff on the way as well. So, um, I just need to be able to, to get those reviews recorded and get them out to you. It, the problem is it's, it takes so much time to do all this basically. So, um, but I will get them out to you. Um, that is my goal to kind of wrap things up definitely in the next couple weeks with all of these reviews that have been pending. I want to finish it, but part of it too, right now, it's such a mess here that I need to organize all this right now so that I can get the space free. And then I have everything organized to say, all right, these are all the things I need to review. This is my space to do it, etc. So that way I can get all those videos done and then we're good. So that's part of it right now. I just, I need to organize everything here and clean it up before I can do more videos because it's just, it's becoming too much to be able to do that. Um, so I want to get a lot of the stuff out the way. Um, so yeah, lots of videos coming. Um, but thank you all for joining me on this live stream. Hope you enjoyed somewhat and got kind of a behind the scenes, you know, inside look into how I have some things organized or lack of organization, I guess, but working on it um, and trying to get some things set. So um, thank you for coming along with me. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great weekend. And I will talk to you all later. Bye, everyone. Ha! Ah.